Hi guys, this is Sharat again. In the last video, I showed you how to create a website on GitHub and how to host it on GitHub and how to use a custom URL for your GitHub hosted website. So we created truejewels.in using that. And, um, and I also showed you that I have a website called websteta.com and I wanted something like a blog for it in the subdomain like blog.webjeta.com so I wanted to host it on github itself and I did it actually um, and I will just show you how exactly to do that this is a blog I made I mean I, I made it on github and I used a theme actually so I will just show you how to host your uh, website or a blog uh, and how to add a subdomain to your github website okay so let's let's go ahead and sign in okay so let's create a new repository maybe let's say we want something like contact dot truejewels.in so let's take this repository name as contact I'll initialize with readme file now it has created a repository with readme file on it let's create a branch called gh pages and we know that only gh pages can be hosted as a website so gh pages is ready and we'll add a new file called let's call it index.html that's like the one we use all the time index and now i'm going to edit it so that it will show up something when we host it html tag a body tag and h1 it says this is subdomain maybe okay and let's add some style to it so style tag background color for the last website i have added green for this i'll add blue color and let's have the font color as pure white okay I think it's good let's come with the changes now we have to see okay let's see if this has hosted in the github okay github pages has hosted it this is a subdomain but it's not saying why is the background not... oh okay okay I get it Went to the master branches. Let's go to GH pages index. I think something wrong with the style. Okay. Oh, I should have placed it in curly braces and mentioned it as H1. I did not mention it as H1. Okay, the complete body actually. Okay, curly braces are up. Now commit the changes. Everything looks good. Now let's see if that has changed. Okay, we have it here. Okay, now it's good. Now, what we want is not this URL. What we want is contact.truejewels.in. But let's see what it redirects to. And this is asking me to log out. Okay, truejewels.in. Okay, so this is our first website which we created. We want a subdomain called contact.truejewels.in. For now, it is not resolving into anything. To have a subdomain, we have to add a C name here in the GH pages branch where you have the index in your website. You need to have 
a C name file. A C name will now will not have any extension and write the write the URL you would like to have true jewels dot in. Make sure you don't have any spaces from it. Now I have a C name. Let's see if this has changed to anything. Nothing. Because we have to change the DNS as well. Go to the DNS and I have opened TrueJewel store in and I'm managing its DNS. So you have to add a C name file here as well. Okay. So add a record anywhere. Click on add a record anywhere. And you should add you should add a C name record. Let's select C name. So host is what we want. Contact dot true dot in. Make sure the spelling is correct. Okay. Points to our username dot github dot io. So that is what we want. That gadget dot github dot io is our github username. So username dot github dot io take out all http and slashes and finish. So we have added the C name. I'm saving the changes. Okay. Now our record has come up here. Contact in Fred Gadget dot GitHub, which points to this repository username dot GitHub dot IO. For some reason, the dot jewels dot in has been truncated. It has just placed contact there. So let's see if our subdomain is redirecting to that. Mm -hmm, not yet. So I will come back in some time to see if it has redirected. Okay, I have waited for a while now. Let's see if this redirects to any page. Well, we do have it. So we have hosted our website on contact.truejewels.in subdomain. So this is how we do it. So I think this video has helped you in some way to add subdomains on GitHub. And if you feel this was helpful, uh, click on like and subscribe. And I'll be I'll be making a lot of videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.